Hi, second graders. Today we will be reading from our interactive science journals to learn more about animals. Our learning objective for today is I can read to learn about how animals use their body parts to get the things that they need. We'll be reading from pages 88 through 91. Please pause the video so you can get your journal and a pencil. Once you have your journal and a pencil, please open up to pages 88 and 89. Pause the video to find those pages. At the top of page 88 is the title of this lesson. This is lesson three, what are some parts of animals? At the top of page 89 is another learning objective. I will know what animals need. I will know how animals use body parts to meet their needs. An important word to know that we will be reading this week is the word camouflage. Going across the two pages is a photograph of a hummingbird and some flowers. And underneath the photograph, it says, circle the part this bird uses to get food. So thinking about what you know and what you see in the photograph, circle the part that the bird is using to get food. Pause the video so you can circle that. If you circled the bird's beak, then you're correct. The bird uses its long, thin beak to get nectar from inside of these flowers. We are going to skip the explore it activity that is on page 88 and go right to the heading on page 89 where it says animal needs. So in your journal, put your finger right there and follow along as I read to you. Think of the different kinds of animals in the world. They all have the same needs. A chipmunk has the same needs as a huge whale. It has the same needs as a tiny insect. Animals need air, water, and food. Animals need shelter. Shelter is a safe place to live and grow. Animals need enough space to live too. Pause the video and read this part one time to yourself. Look at the picture, write what the chipmunk needs. So looking at the picture of the chipmunk, what, um, what need is the chipmunk meeting? Write what need the chipmunk meets. Pause the video to write your answer. Okay, the chipmunk is getting water. Somewhere in your answer, you should have written that the chipmunk is getting water, like it's drinking from water right here. And we know that animals need air, water, and food. Turn the page. At the top of page 90 is the heading animal body parts. In your journal, put your finger right there and follow along as I read to you. Animals use their body parts to get what they need. Birds use their beaks to find food. A pelican has a big beak. It scoops up fish with its beak. A woodpecker has a strong, sharp beak. It digs ants and other insects from trees with its beak. And here's a photograph of a pelican. And the caption says, look at the shape of the pelican's beak. The beak can hold big fish. And there's a big fish going into the pelican's beak. And here's a photograph of some woodpeckers. And it says, a woodpecker pounds holes in a tree with its beak. The holes help the bird find insects. You can see that a pelican and a woodpecker have two very different kinds of beaks. Pause the video and go back and read this part and these two captions one more time to yourself. Now we're going to write why the pelican needs a big beak. So thinking about what you read, what you see in the photograph, why does a pelican need a big beak? You could start with a pelican needs a big beak and tell why. Pause the video to write your answer.
And the correct answer is a pelican needs a big beak to scoop up fish. Let's go over to page 91 and I will read here. An earthworm is long and thin. It does not have bones or legs. An earthworm uses its strong muscles to move through the soil. Read this little part one more time to yourself. Here's a photograph of a robin. And it says, a robin's beak is long and thin. The robin puts its beak into the soil to catch worms. And it also says, a robin walks or runs on the ground. The robin looks for earthworms to eat. Write how an earthworm uses its body parts to move. So we know we read they do not have bones or legs. So how does an earthworm use its body parts to move? Go ahead and pause the video to write your answer. And the correct answer is an earthworm uses its strong muscles to move. And it tells us that right here, an earthworm uses its strong muscles to move through the soil. Tell how a robin uses its body parts to catch worms. So how did this robin use its body parts to catch earthworms? Pause the video and practice saying how a robin uses its body parts to catch earthworms. And we read that a robin's beak is long and thin and it, the robin puts its beak into the soil to catch worms. So it pokes its long, thin beak into the soil and that's how it catches worms. Once you have finished reading all of the parts and writing your sentences, you may close your journal.